And now for something completely different. Now this is probably something you've never seen before, but if you have seen it before, then you've seen it before. So, good. That's it. You don't have to watch it. Wasn't that intro the most amazing thing you've ever seen? I mean, um, if, if this thing is chasing the amp, then this is the bad guy. You know what? Don't even, don't even think about the, the intro anymore. It was just for fun. So, if you actually think about it, it makes no sense. Hey, how's it going? I'm Landon. Welcome to my channel. Landon Bailey. Today I've got uh, a cool product. It's called the Amp Silo. And uh, I just want to thank the company Amp Silo for sending this out. They gave this to me for free to check out and do a, re do a review. Man, I hope they didn't, uh, they didn't pay me to do this, obviously. I'm not, I'm not doing a good job so far, but we're going to do a great job. We're going we're gonna to have a good time. And this is going to be, um, no, no. So just before I get into what exactly we're going to do with this and how it works, uh, I'm just going to respond to all the comments. The uh, I'm going to call them like the uh, thumbnail watchers. The guy, you know, the people that just read the subject and look at the thumbnail and then they comment. They don't even watch the video. So, uh, so, the, so the comments that say like it's just a doormat. Well, sure, okay, then you can make one yourself. And then the, there's going to be the comments that say just turn down the treble on your amp, but you're still miking the amp. So, anyways, that probably makes no sense at this point. But I thought I'd just get those out of the way so those people can tune out, tune out but they're probably not watching the video anyway. So, so picture your amp. Well, I'm going to have a couple demonstrations. So picture your amplifier, you're sitting in front of it, or you've got it set up in a live gig. There's harsh frequencies coming out of the center. And, uh, this is to help diffuse that. So it's going to sit right in front of the amp. And, um, the cool thing is it's got these holes. So you can actually still mic up your amp. So this is for live situations. Um, I could probably use it here. I, I've tried it a few times and it does do a good job. Generally going to be for a live situation. And um, say somebody's sitting, uh, well, there's a couple, uh, let me show you here, close up. I'll show you, show you some infographics. Basically, you're trying to help the people that are in the front row in, in a small, small live situation, I believe. Um, you don't want to blow their heads off with the, uh, the harsh frequencies. So if uh, none of that's making much sense, I know this is kind of scrambly and mumbled and uh, all screwy. What is he even saying? You know what? This has been a mess. I've got a proper demo prepared. Let's just go to that right now and check it out. All right, so this is going to clear up all your questions and, you know, make it totally clear. So here's the, uh, you know, the audience is coming into the club or the bar or whatever. It's just a small club. There's not too many people, so they're getting ready for the show. Hey, guys, how's it going down there? They're all just hanging out and ready. They're super excited for the band to come on. So, oh, here we go. The band's uh, setting up. They're just setting up their amp and then, you know, the guitar and everything. And then here he comes there, the lead singer. He's already kind of wasted. He can't stand up straight. But anyways, they're getting ready to go. They're just about to start. And then uh, first song, boom, knocks them down. The, the sounds are so harsh. And everybody's like, oh, my God, what was that? I don't even know what hit us and knocked us down like that is crazy it's like the worst thing that's ever happened to me yeah I can't even stand up still like oh my god guys what are we gonna do so anyways there's a solution to this right you know the Prince of Eternia or whatever his name is there should have uh, should have done this you know like if he just had his uh, amp silo there in front of the amp then battle armor he-man see he's got his set up now he's playing everybody's happy nobody's uh, getting this harsh frequencies and knocking melting their faces and knocking them down. Everybody's happy now. Admiral Akbar is excited. Look at that. He never lifts his arms. And uh, Bib Fortuna, he's very happy. Egon, even Egon, and, and the Jawa, he's happy too. If you got the Jawas happy, you're good. But you know what? They're also wasted anyways. They just all fall down again anyways. And it doesn't even matter. Okay, so there's how you use it. But you're like, but how do you actually set it up? Like, what are you talking about? Amp silo. Here we go. Close up. And you know what? I'll mention this. This is very important to a lot of people. It's made in the USA. Made in the USA. I'm made in Canada, but this is made in the USA. So you take it and you roll it into uh, a shape similar to a, a silo. You don't roll it into the shape of an amp. That just doesn't make sense. So you roll it into the, the silo shape and then uh, these things get hungry. So you're going to feed it your microphones. SM57, perfect. So you're just going to shove it through the front there. And then uh, it's got the hole in the back for your cable to run through. So you can mic up your speaker and uh, you still got the uh, the amp silo in front. 
And here's a feature that's not listed in the manual. Thought I'd just show this off first. And it's very important that people know about this feature. Uh, I don't know. Is that a thing? All right, talking about it's all great, but actually hearing it and seeing it in use is where it's all about. So here's my setup. I've got a, a ribbon microphone. You can see I've got the amp silo in front of it. And then I'm going to record some guitar and I'm going to move the amp silo out of the way and you're going to have the difference. You can hear the difference between the two. So it's going to be a pretty good demo. You can see how I've got it sitting right in front of it and the SM57 can actually go through it. And then uh, the uh, microphone in the back there, the ribbon microphone. Oh my God, it's a Rancor monster. And he's, he's got the Corona. Anyways, ignore that. We're just going to get into the, the sound demos. So let's go. There we go. I think uh, I think that showed it off pretty well. Um, it's definitely more noticeable in person in the room. The uh, the ribbon microphone doesn't capture all the low end and stuff like that, so you're kind of just hearing the high frequencies in that uh, in those recordings. But I think it did a good job. So so there we go. The amp silo. I think it can speak for itself. Yeah, that's gonna do it for the video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll have a link to their uh, their site below if you want to check it out. Just again, I want to thank Amp Silo for sending that out. I hope you enjoyed this video, I tried to make it fun. Again, I'm Landon. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and click a like on the video. And uh, that's gonna do it for this video. As always, play guitar and have fun and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.